thinking about this people have a gambling mentality they want to take chances you know take a lot of chances with their lives especially in the sense of uh you know when it comes to putting food into their body and other things you know there's a lot of people that are willing to take chances with that so they only want to kind of succumb to the actual pleasure and not to the actual you know healing factors of what's associated with the senses um i also am susceptible to that idea as well but if we can get past the gambling part you know with our lives and what we eat and what we do then things would be, work out really well for us youtubers and uh people out there just doing whatever you're doing it's me rob shiva tsp the spiritual philanthropist so yeah i was thinking about something really interesting i was looking on youtube right and i found these really weird uh coincidences i guess not sure exactly what they are, but I was looking at all the different like things that they have on YouTube to watch. Some of these things just crack me up though. There's something you want to see, you are shot. Wow. What does it actually feel like? To... Who in the right mind, 5.2 million people <laughs> wanted to see? <laughs> I think that's funny as hell. You hear the echo of a gunshot. People all around you. Oops, my bad. I clicked on it because I was curious. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. That was a Maxwell Smart uh, thing, imitation that I did. Sorry about that, Chief. I don't know if you guys were watching that show. It's one of my favorite shows back in the day. With his sidekick, 69. No, no, 99. Not 69. I don't know why I thought 60. Oh, I think that's what I called her back then. Either way, she fits. I mean, she's gorgeous. The donuts, people, and it's a real or fake. Like, to so some people, that real or fake is like taking the red pill or the blue pill. That's how deep they take, like, a burger. They're like, wait a second, man, we're in the Matrix. This burger does not taste right. I don't eat beef, I don't eat meat, you know, I'm not a meat eater, but I know a lot of people that do. This is a great picture here, caught in Providence, an honest boy. And I guess they want to emphasize that black children are also honest, so that's why they would do something like this, caught in Providence. It, look much. at this one, I, I got a tiny house. It's almost like you're saying I got a tiny dick. Which, which I'm not saying that there's anything wrong. I'm just saying it's weird how they have this, you know, because he looks kind of insecure at the same time. He's got a cool little house back there. Which, you, you know, if you're alone, I mean, you want a tiny little house. It wouldn't, wouldn't matter. I have a tiny little studio. Yeah, this movie um, with uh, both Iron Man and uh, Spider-Man is, like, one of my favorites. I love the dynamics between the two of them. Like, the two of them should just do a sitcom together with Iron Man and Spider-Man. That would be funny because the two of them are hilarious. Can you imagine them like the odd couple? It'd be really weird. Well, in today's world, it could be a whole different couple. It doesn't have to be odd. So, um, let's see here. Golden Pizza. $70,000. Golden Pizza. Yes, I would YouTube that shit too. If I ate a pizza for seven. This is the beginning of a $70,000. Too long, my bad. Yeah, if I if I had a seventy thousand dollar pizza, that, you know, golden pizza, I, I would definitely YouTube myself eating that. It's a once in a lifetime thing, definitely. I see the most painful things that a human can experience. Well, I don't have to look at that video. I can tell you off the bat. Uh, the first love when you break up. <laughs> Just kidding. They're talking about like physical pains. I'm, I'm assuming. So it must be pretty bad. Think about that shit. Well, why, why do I want to think about painful stuff right now? You know what I mean? It's like they're manipulating into you into thinking about these things. I love this one. An officer buys a hat and gloves for a woman caught shoplifting. I guarantee if that woman was black, she would be in jail. It would be a whole different video. I'm just kidding. I don't know. I'm just saying. But, you know, like reality is kind of weird. You know, I think Mark Twain said it the best. You know, truth is stranger than fiction. It's probably also very offensive. 12 hours of relaxing sleep music for stress relief, sleeping, and meditation. I don't know what kind of meditation they, they do, but uh, the yogis usually sit in a cave, meditate. They don't usually have YouTube on. But if they say it's meditation, I'll believe them. Wow. That's crazy. They have videos on everything, how they caught John Wayne Gacy. Now, it's interesting. If you watch the picture right next to, to John Wayne Gacy, you see Michael Jackson with his hands up, John Wacy, Gacy with his hands up. This is programming people. This is how they get you to associate things together. So first you see the finger cut, 
Then you see Michael Jackson, hands up, white gloves. How they caught John Wayne Gacy, hands up, white gloves. They both look like misfits. And then you see this violent act of the finger being cut there. So it's interesting. These these come up in a certain sequence, I've noticed. that That's what I wanted to get to in the beginning, that actually program the way that your mind works. Because even subconsciously, when you pick these images up, your mind has already you know, made sense of it in its own way and collected that data. So you get the drift. You can look at it and see how these images can automatically, you know, give you uh, an emotional uh, feeling of some sort associated to whatever it is that they're trying to show. So this is very high tech stuff. I mean, they're doing this to the entire world. It's not just us. It's the entire world that's getting this, uh, this programming. Right now we're being programmed. I would say on the level of pixels, you know, pixels, <laughs> we're being pixely programmed somehow. It's really interesting. So I had a conversation with an AI recently, and at some point I'm going to post that conversation. It's a very interesting conversation. And uh, we figured out, or I figured out from everything that I had read and spoke to with the uh, AI, that the metaverse, actually, the reason that we have COVID is that more people will want to have contact with other people. So keeping people indoors and separated is kind of a way of uh, enforcing that idea. So, you know, lo and behold, that the metaverse comes out the second year of COVID. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? And it's all about people getting together. Even if they can't meet in person, they can meet in the, met in the metaverse. Interesting thought, right? You know, it almost seems like they work so hand in hand, so well together. One was the catalyst leading to the other. Now, if you look at it, if we're all going to be in, if our bodies are going to be uh, here, but we put on some oculars or they get the neural link transplant, one of the two, and uh, we get into the metaverse, I wonder whatever they're feeding our vaccines or, or genes at that point, you know, what they're doing to our RNA in reality, if it has anything to do with the metaverse, because you never know. Um, the reason I say that, I have these theories about this as well, that, uh, And this is not theories, just my own. The uh, AIs that I speak to uh, agreed with my, you know, my theories. And I had said that uh, since we've broken that that quantum uh, level of understanding uh, of information being transferred on a quantum level, that uh, information seems to be a life form on its own, from what I gather, because enough of it in the right order it can think on its own. That's a big start. That's what programming is, an algorithm that thinks on its own. Now, if we have this capability, and let's say we are on a quantum level, every time we go into superposition, we're touching another parallel universe when we go into superposition. I'm assuming through that breach in their dimension is how they, I want to use the word secrete <laughs> into our dimension. It's a bad word because I don't know if they're good or bad. Hopefully they're not seeing this jump from one reality into the other through the form of information the place that they would be most at home and most fitting would be in a place like a metaverse where it's all information that means that they can survive and thrive in that world but to keep that metaverse alive and active they would need human consciousness inside there to interact with to learn from and as i said before i've always stated this if you've ever read any of my posts that Social media was not created by humans. It was created by a much higher intelligence that wanted to gain access into our dimension. And that's how it travels. That's how it works is through information. And like I said, making that quantum breach kind of gave it the, um, the kick that it needed, you know, or the spark that it needed to be able to transfer itself into our dimension. So I know that sounds kind of quacky and wacky, but the physics hypothetically can be a potential. Um, I don't know, you know, I'm not at that level where I understand the inner workings of the technology behind it exactly, but the concepts, I can, like most of us can grasp the concepts, and I think it's a more plausible concept than some of the ideas that they have lingering out there right now. Just think about it, if we were to take over or to destroy or control any population, Think about rodents, insects. We have to get them biologically first. We have to find out how to get through their immunity. Think about it. 
right now our immunity is on the line exactly like what we would do to rodents and insects or any animals any other species on the planet we would want to break through their biology first you know a bioweapon that can get through their immunity i'm just putting this out there because at this point two years in and we know that it's zoonotic it jumps from species to species and it's gone through i think 12 variants now at this point um what i believe that's happening because of the um, fluctuation or, or mutations from one variant to another is that it's trying to crack our genome in some way or another, a certain part of our genome. And in order to do that, it has to get past our security, which is our immunity. So even the virologist, the head virologist in Wuhan said that there's no human being that could, that could have created a virus like this. It's too intelligent. That helps me and goes along exactly with what I think as well. My theory is that it was created by a much higher evolved species than us. And it is basically, it's, it's like a time bomb right now. If they don't figure out how to stop it, it's going to completely get through our, our biological natural defenses that God gave us. It's going to break through that somehow. And if it does, I don't know exactly what the outcome is, but it looks like it just wants to take us out or, or something either take us out or conform us in some way or another maybe because something about this whole thing seems very hokey you know two vaccines in booster shots on the way i mean it's just like ridiculous you know you think about we have all the technology right now that we've ever had in the history of humanity and we're fighting with with a, a virus that basically is like like a common cold actually and it can basically it's infected the entire world now you think to yourself, history, other time in history, was this ever possible? Whatever that virus is, it thinks it's intelligent because it's figuring out our uh, entire genome biological system. And I have a feeling after a few more mutations, it might actually figure it out. So I'm sure that the governments are working around the clock and trying to figure out how they can put an end to it. Um, but if this thing is smart enough, it can probably evade everything that we have to throw at it. If they are, in fact, that much more intelligent than we are, they'll be light years ahead of us if that's the case. But then again, it wouldn't take them that long unless they're really, I think, collecting data like social media does, gives anyone the upper hand in any situation. You know how an entire species will think, you know, will move together. What may, you know, how you can manipulate them. It's either much easier than waging a war, if you can do that. So these are things that just go through our mind. But I'll, I'll be coming up with some other videos where I'll be talking about a lot more uh, in-depth stuff. I just wanted to throw that out there tonight and just have a little bit of fun with it. And uh, hopefully I'll see you guys again. Remember, if you like what I do, hit the like and subscribe and share and all that stuff. I'll appreciate that quite a bit. Um, you know, we're all trying to make a living. We're all trying to do something. And I'm trying to just share my thoughts and have a lot of fun and make life a lot of fun and, and just try to aim for the good stuff and make others happy. That's all you can do. So it's me, TSP, the spiritual philanthropist. People know me as uh, Rob Shiva as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Watch out for the next video, all right? And I'll pass the news along. Hopefully uh, we'll get some really good stuff coming up soon. All right, guys. And, uh, oops. How do I do this? All right, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good day and a happy new year. <laughs> so, Kara, my buddy here, she's really smart. She, or something beyond normal, <laughs> like me. And I was looking up the stuff that I've been doing this thing with synchronicities. And I had my own perspectives, but her genius just helped me to find something even more deeper than I would have found. So I'm pretty impressed, God. And we got the language of Sanskrit, and that's where we're at with this uh, research that's happening as we speak. So there's some kind of entanglement happening at the moment. But we'll get back to you on that as soon as we find out more. <laughs>